Well, hello everyone. This is Egypt Sebastian. Welcome to today's, to today's training call, 12 Elements of Creating a Client Attracting Website. And let me check if the recording is on. And yes, we are good to go. So, of course, we can all have a website. Uh, most of us have websites, uh, some great looking ones, some not so great looking. And the aesthetic or the looks are actually not, uh, not that important uh, as much as what you have on the website that matters. I know some of, uh, I, I see often some very, very be beautiful websites, but have zero uh, marketing pool meaning they do not attract leads, they do not generate clients. And, and yes, some of them, they generate clients once in a while, but uh, they will tell you, and, and you know, if, if you have a beautiful website, but it doesn't have an opt-in box, or it doesn't have a great headline, uh, doesn't have a targeted, uh, niched uh, feel to it, then... Uh, then you do not attract leads nor generate clients or very few and and of course if you don't have an opt-in offer then you generate zero leads so let's get into it and let's see how do we create a website that generates leads and um, converts or helps you convert those leads into clients first of all it's important not to put the cart in front of the horses right um, you, you, many of you, or, or I'm guilty of that too. I will admit it. I built my website before I knew what my niche was, and uh, that's why we have so many websites out there. You know, what is coaching, and it's just they're just very general. They are one, uh, not one in a million, but but exactly the same as other million websites. They have no uh, identity. So first, you need to identify your niche or your target market, or both. What do you want to deliver and to who? So uh, you are ready to build your website if you are clear who you will serve, uh, clear how you will serve them, and uh, make sure that you research your demographics uh, so you can write your web copy in their language. So if you talk to 20-year-olds, uh, then you would not use some polite uh, academic language, but you would use more, uh, you know, relaxed language. And uh, as well, if you talk to 50-year-old professionals, then you try to avoid slang. So understand who you are targeting and use appropriate language. And we will talk a little more later on, on copywriting uh, strategies or on how to write your copy for your website. Now, your website is the window to your business. When people see that, and, and many of us, we, make, uh, we, we do business nationwide or even internationally. So people get to know you through your website or through social media, whatever. But once they come to your website, it, it really reflects who you are. So if you have a, an unprofessional-looking website or not a very friendly website, uh, you know, it, it just doesn't reflect well on you. But it is not the main part of your business, uh, even though, as I said, it's a very important part. Uh, your website allows prospects to answer the question in their mind, do I need this service or product? Does this site look professional and trustworthy? Uh, and and uh, those are key. You know, uh, Can I trust this person? And, and if your site doesn't look uh, professional, then you lose that, you lose that factor and that visitor goes away never to return. Uh, I believe that it's important to stay in control of your site. If you have a bunch of money to burn, yeah, pay a uh, web designer, but I believe you should be in control, complete control of your website. Um, I use, I, I used for my first website, I used quick, quickbizsites.com. Quickbizsites.com, it's 1995 per month. Uh, there's a free trial available, no credit card needed. Really cool templates. Uh, I come up in the top of the, f the search engines for many keywords. Of course.
course, my site is uh, uh, close to 10 years old. It has more than 170 pages, and it's, uh, I, I won't say very targeted, but it's pretty targeted. It's uh, considered a, uh, the search engine consider it a authority site. Uh, Homestead.com provides uh, free website building um, and, and many others. I suggest very strongly to use Word, WordPress uh, based sites, and uh, I believe it's WordPress. Yeah, it's WordPress.org, and it, it takes you ten dollars to around ten dollars to buy a domain name, and for hosting you can. Uh, use hostmonster.com or hostgator.com they both have excellent customer service hostgator.com is a little little cheaper i heard only good things about them i use uh, hostmonster.com because uh, i i started using them many years ago so i just stuck with them uh, not stuck but uh, I'm a loyal customer. Besides, I have about 100 domain names with them, so it would take lots, lots of work to transfer those domain names. Um, and, and they are very affordable. I mean, they're like $2 more expensive uh, when you buy a domain name, and probably in hosting also, the, the difference is about $2. But uh, go with Ho HostGator if you, if you want to save a few dollars. Besides, I believe they offer the exact same services, except HostGator is a little cheaper. And uh, why do I suggest uh, WordPress? Because you can build websites on your own in, in less than 10 minutes, really. You can set up a host uh, a WordPress-based website with a static page with tabs about us, our services, our products, uh, whatever you want, and, of course, a blog tab. And the search engines love it, love it. With with websites that uh, that a web designer sets up, or even if you set it up through a, a website builder online, it takes you uh, it takes spe some special skills to optimize it. With a WordPress-based site, it's very easy to optimize it, meaning to make it more search engine friendly. Because right on when you create your page or your posts, right under it, it asks you to put in your tags. Uh, meaning related key or, or keywords and a little a brief description so uh, it's very easy to use very friendly so I highly suggest uh, recommend it to, to use it for all your website needs I use them exclusively I've been using the, uh, WordPress exclusively for, for my uh, web uh, needs for the past uh, three three years or so and I know many marketers seven-figure income earners who use exclusively WordPress for for their web needs. So if, if at all possible, don't waste your time on on um, web-based uh, builders or, or a web designer. Now, I said we will cover 12 tips on how to create a, a uh, client-attracting website. Number one is get to the top of search engines instantly. Wouldn't that be cool? Did you know that there are four million, more than four million results for the search term life coach? And 88 plus million results if you don't use quotation marks around them, around the term. So, uh, and many of uh, you listeners, of course, are coaches, so that's why I'm quoting this. And with, what this means to you is that if somebody is looking for a life coach, or any kind of coach, and puts in the term, let's say, relationship coach, you will come up probably on page number 6,792,842, right? But I can help you get on the front page instantly, instant fame. I can give you instant fame. Is that cool or is that cool? Pick one. And what you do if you're a relationship coach then you pick a domain name that um, your your target market would search for. And to find that cool domain name, you go to Google, type in your search engine, Google Keyword Tool. And if somebody specifically is looking for a, a relationship coach, check check how many searches are there per month for a relationship coach. If there are many searches, then register domain name 
relationshipcoach.com. Of course, that's taken. Uh, don't. Uh, I mean, you could take .net or .org or .us, whatever. But I do not recommend it because most people will automatically put .com and then you 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 are catering. Uh, you are sending traffic to your uh, to your competitor. So instead of uh, getting a .org or .net or whatever, just add a word to it. For example, uh, bestrelationshipcoach.com. Okay, well, that that sounds a little fancy. Um, relationship coach, yourrelationshipcoach.com. There you go, yourrelationshipcoach.com. Uh, again, type in the the keyword tool on Google. In the Google keyword tool, type in the word relationship coach or relationship advice. I mean, whatever your keyword is for your niche. Play with the words. And then click on global monthly searches. Click on the words global monthly searches. See which of those keywords get most searches. You will also see what how, uh, how strong of a competition you have for those uh, keywords. And pick a combination of those keywords when I say combination if you see that um, relationship advice has uh, 6 million searches or 600,000 searches or even if 60,000 searches then you would r try to register relationshipadvice.com of course that's not available so, so you would uh, say relationshipadvice101.com or greatrelationshipadvice.com now, what this does is, uh, is that um, when somebody types in relationship advice, your website will show up on the first page, probably close to the top. For example, type in, uh, in, in your search engine, um, paid speaker, paid speaker. Lots of coaches and lots of people want to become paid speakers. So they will look for the keyword paid speaker. Type that in, see what you get. Number one, two, three, four, or five is paidspeaker101.com. That's my site, my blog. I have not posted there in about six months. Yet it still comes up in the on the first uh, page. Why? Because of the domain name. Uh, I'm a disc trainer. I'm a certified disc trainer. I get paid couple of thousand dollars for each of my presentations. We present to Fortune 500 companies as well, to more than uh, 150 of them actually. And some of us get paid in the tens, more, more than $10,000 for a presentation. So lots of people want to become disc trainers. So if you put in your search engine, become a disc trainer, and possibly even if you put in disc trainer, Again, you will get one of the top results will be become a disc trainer dot com, which is my blog. And I have not posted to that blog in more than a year. Still on the first page. So is this cool or is this cool? I'm I'm giving you here a tool, a some knowledge that will help you put your website uh, on the first page of the search engines instantly. And that makes a whole world of difference. That that makes the difference between you making, uh, you know, nothing a month, or making a few thousand dollars a month because you get visibility, visibility. Without visibility, without traffic, you got nothing. So, use this strategy. Okay. So let me see if I have some other examples for you. Um, disc sales styles. Those who understand DISC and those who care about personality styles, they often look to find out about their own sales style, also learn about different buying styles. So if you type in DISC sales styles, again, one of the top sites will be DISCSalesStyles.com. That's my site. Or DISC buying styles. Very important. When you write your copy, you need to understand the buying styles, what, what they... Um, what are their priorities uh, and how to write copy to them. So if you learn about the four main buying styles, that will help you with that. Also, it will help you selling to different styles. So go to, I mean, type in disk buying styles. And uh, actually, disk sales styles and disk buying styles, they both go to the same blog. 
and I have there a video, video uh, I believe it's uh, about one hour. Now, for that information, I get paid uh, thousands of dollars, literally, p uh, to, to present that. I present it in a workshop format, so uh, it's, it's a little different when I present it live, but here I just give you the information in one hour, so check out that video. But I gave you here, I, I believe, three or four examples, and I could go on. I have uh, about ten websites and uh, probably about 30 blogs out there uh, using the same concepts. So uh, put some thought into it. Use the Google Keyword Tool. If your uh, keywords sh show up as, as zero results or, or you know 20 results or 5,000, no good. Look for something that has at least you know 30, 40,000 search results, week, I mean uh, monthly search results. And ideally, you know, a hundred thousand or more. Uh, you you will also see in the Google t Keyword tool on the left side listed a bunch of uh, other keywords. So again, click on global monthly searches. That way, you will have the top keywords on the top. Try to use some of those keywords in your copy. Don't slam them all in there, and make sure that. Uh, that the copy flows because even though r robots are, uh, uh, you know, checking your site and and they decide how to place you on search engines, they are extremely uh, smart robots and and they will see that you are uh, quote unquote spamming by using all those keywords. So just use a couple of those keywords and repeat them a few times in your copy, and that will help you again get higher in the search engines. I will be honest, I, I'm using that technique not too often, the one that I just told you. I'm using it sometimes, but not too often. The, the, the URL, the domain name alone, allows me to be on top of search engines with, with main keywords. So, uh, but if you use them both of these techniques, then, then uh, uh, you get even higher chance to, to be on the top. Because what happens is, for example, if you're a re relationship coach uh, and others know about this strategy, then maybe there is a relationship coach uh, uh, mentor, relationship coaching for you, my relationship coach. I mean, there could be a bunch of variations. So if everybody is using this strategy, but they are not using the key keywords within the web copy, and you are using that, then yours will show up higher. So uh, keep in mind that one too. Let's see. Um, cool. Now, he here are the statistics for my uh, egsebastian.com. Bad, bad keyword choice, but that was my first website or second, I don't remember, because my coaching website was resultsguru.com. I do not have that uh, anymore. I believe you can find it in the web web morgue. There is a website where it's a morgue. It's a where dead sites are stored. So you think that you delete a website, uh, nobody will see it. Uh, think twice. All your websites are stored in that morgue. I I forgot the web address. It doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, I I picked wrong. Uh, domain name, but it is highly uh, keyword friendly. So with this one, I use those keyword strategies. And uh, also, it has 170 plus pages, and it's considered uh, an authority site. So um, like here, I have uh, around 15,000 views. This was back, I believe, uh, I believe I, I took this year, uh, this year sometime. But um, I had sometimes as many as 30,000 views per month. And it depends. I, I'm not sending any more traffic to this website. But even when I'm not sending traffic, you can see I have uh, about, you know, uh, more than 10,000 views per month, which might not sound like a lot, but for, for a little guy like me, that's enough. And most of those... Uh, traffic are targeted. They are looking for my assessments or they are looking for a keynote speaker. So uh, even if I just or oh, facilitator kits, when I sell a facilitator kit, I'm still making you know four or five hundred dollars. 
uh, when I sell disk assessments, I can make thousands of dollars or a few hundred. It depends how many they buy. Large corporations, they buy them in thousands. Smaller companies, they buy a few. Uh, so so uh, that traffic, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, for me that's very uh, lucrative. And you can see here, uh, so why I'm showing you, th you this is you should use, and probably Google Analytics can do that for you, you should use uh, some method to see the statistics on or the the you know the numbers on your site how much traffic are you getting uh, what what keywords are people using to find you like for me you see dealing with difficult people that's why I'm invited as a disc trainer as a relationship uh, development coach I'm invited to present at conferences give keynotes because that's how most people find me they look for for uh, a speaker for dealing with difficult people and as you can see disk is the second high search uh, 9% so um, and this 2.0 even though it's only 3% for 10,000 uh, viewers I mean uh, visitors 3% is uh, 300 uh, people and that's this 2.0 and disk is 8% so that's 11% altogether so even if I just had 10,000 visitors a month, that's, uh, let's say, just 10%, that's 1,000 people. They all are there because they want to buy that assessment. So um, that's, that's really cool. And, and it's great to know because I can capitalize more on uh, those keywords. I, c I could optimize it more. I do not spend much time with this website, but it's pretty cool that I can see the statistics on it. Um, okay. Now, in your membership site uh, on uh, myclientattractionacademy.com, you have a video that, a tutorial that tells you how to get your website indexed fast. And I will, you will have this uh, in PDF format in your members area, and you will be able to click here for, to access that uh, training video. And uh, actually, if you go in there and you click on the left side, scroll down and uh, uh, it, there you have a link website index um, or, or let me look at it sitemap yes sitemap yeah yeah so uh, the bottom the the on the left side you scroll down all the way uh, down and then it says uh, sitemap and then it says our sitemap contains links and blah 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 you click on that site map uh, it's a live link and uh, and then you can uh, c press control F control F on your keyboard keyboard and type in uh, index and then it will show you this where this video is uh, but again it will be in the members area as a PDF so you will be able to click on it have a professional looking site it's it's very important again it's a window to, to uh, your business and to it reflects on you, so make sure it's a professional, professional-looking one. And uh, as they say, first impression count. When I say professional, I definitely do not mean some big flashy pictures uh, or, or or lots of graphics, lots of colors. Do have some colors. Don't don't make it just all black and white, but don't make it too fancy. Fancy. And I know that some coaches they uh, have a playful. Uh, they, they they set up their sites to to be playful and that's cool. I've seen some parenting websites that look really cool with some graphics of kids, happy kids jumping around, and uh, parents uh, playing with their kids. And those were graphics, not pictures. Uh, and and but it was really nice and uh, colorful. So make it tasteful and uh, uh, appropriate to your niche. Keep your pages simple uh, and double check your spelling. I, I know that I'm pretty bad at that. Now I'm using Google Chrome. If you use Google Chrome, uh, that will highlight, I mean, underline your misspelled words, but not the ones that you misuse. So if you type in uh, uh, bigger than three, but instead of T-H-E-N, -E you put T-H, uh, no, the other way. If you put the T-H-E-N instead of T-H-A-N, then, of course, it will not catch it. 
um, but uh, I mean, if your if your content is great and you just have tiny little spelling mistakes, that's not a big deal. But uh, it's a really uh, it's a turn off when you see lots of uh, spelling mistakes. And and I've seen many websites with with many nasty spelling mistakes, and it just reflects really badly on the website owner. Now this is extremely important. I should have uh, put it in red uh, fonts. Use effective headlines and subheadlines to satisfy schemers. There are four main personality styles. Two of those personality styles they tend to scheme. They do not have the patience to to read through all your copy, especially if you have lots of uh, copy on your website. So use effective headlines uh, and and. Make sure that those headlines are benefit driven what is in what it's what's in it for me you know why should I stay on your website? I have a problem. Are you talking to my problem? Are you catering to my problem? If not, I'm out of here. I'm looking for solutions so if I don't see a, a suggestion to a solution on your site, then I'll go away and uh, look for it on some other web website and we'll talk about this uh, a little more. And yeah, use pictures and grass for enhanced visual effects, but uh, yeah, make sure that you don't overdo it. Uh, again, in the members area, you have a copywriting training tutorial, uh, and uh, two weeks from now, we will have uh, a guest presenter, Arfa Iqbal, and I don't know if I pronounced her last name correctly. Uh, and she she's a very accomplished copywriter and she will provide us some training on, on copywriting so I'm looking forward to that also you have uh, a, a whole series four-part series on how to develop a revenue generating website and uh, so check those out also now I don't want you to get overwhelmed there are lots of resources here that I'm providing you focus on one okay plan it plan it. Focus on one this week. I mean, if you can finish one in one day, that's great. Then on one, one day, and and on one, two days later. So don't try to accomplish all of this in one day. You listen to this uh, and create a schedule. A schedule. If you want to implement one of these strategies a week, that's great. But put it down on your marketing schedule. Create one if you don't have one. Okay? And and uh, you you guys you have a 90 days uh, sample marketing plan. You can modify it, uh, add add some of this stuff in there. Uh, it's important to to have each of these elements in place. And if you're listening to this by total accident, then uh, you can get the sample 90 days marketing plan by going to getmoreclientsacademy.com. Getmoreclientsacademy.com. All right, um, number three, stand out from the crowd. Pick a niche, pick a niche. How can you help me? What is your expertise, the service you provide? Uh, and you can get your niche discovery sheet from uh, in week one, in module one. You can download it under, uh, I mean on that page, on module one page under the video. Uh, and it has a worksheet also, niche, niche discovery worksheet. Pick a target market, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the more specific you are who you serve, the easier it will be to market to them. Uh, just just an obvious example here. If you target uh, overweight people, it's very easy to market to them. Uh, well, pretty easy. There are easier target markets. Uh, the question is, how can I get in front of the traffic? So, for example, if you target managers, especially if you target managers from certain industries, they have publications that uh, they read. So you can get in there by uh, sending in articles or putting in advertisements in there. And your ad advertisements should be uh, designed to generate leads. You will not generate sales. Maybe you will a little bit, but uh, often th there are no sales from your advertising unless you do it over and over again and it's way too expensive but if you put in a an offer such as uh, 
like if uh, for managers then uh, find out seven tips that will make you your days more productive you know free free uh, seven part video series or something like that you know make it irresistible make it that they have to take action and they will go to your website and sign up for your offer and you grow, grow your list and you we will talk about it uh, later on how you convert them into into clients um, avoid being just one of the coaches out there or coaching sites out there as I said earlier I mean many coaching sites are about the same uh, what is coaching and uh, I mean that's on the front page or that's one of the tabs and they, they kind of look the same so stand out don't, don't, don't be like them look at coaches sites that are super successful and, and check out their websites um, I personally I, I coach only five people at a time and I get them through my workshops so I don't have any more a, a particularly a, a coaching website I have uh, the your success checklist dot com where I post articles and all that and I, I uh, generate uh, about 50 to 100 leads a day uh, that's my coaching blog let's say but uh, I get leads from all of my websites and and, uh, and I have many websites that are relationship related or conflict management related and uh, I coach I coach I, I used to coach mostly on, on uh, conflict management and uh, relationships but now I coach also on marketing uh, because more and more coaches were asking me how do you get all these clients how do you get to, to speak in front of uh, crowds and uh, and so I said, uh, let me let me help the coaching community with this, and that's why I set up the uh, my client attraction academy dot com uh, membership or training site as well. Um, all right, so uh, avoid being just one. Use strong benefit driven headlines, okay? And finally, there's in red. It's that important, and. Uh, because people get to your site with one glance if they don't see the benefits why why they should stay they will go away the search results were a million and even if you send them there with a link from a from a social uh, media site if they get to your site and your site doesn't look professional or if it doesn't have that benefit driven headline they just go away or even if they read your article what, for whatever you send them there through social media twitter facebook linkedin whatever they go away but if you have great headlines and subheadlines they will stick around and and read some more and equally as important again have an opt-in offer and probably that's coming up uh, again in uh, the my client attraction academy you have a video on how to define your target market so take advantage of that if you have not picked a target market yet now I I told you how to become an instant uh, uh, how to get instantly on the top of search engines let's explore a few more ways to uh, become a search engine favorite I told you about the the Google keyword tool and I told you how to use uh, that tool to to uh, improve your search engine uh, your visibility in the search engines so uh, you know use that have put put niche related articles on your website ton, top 10 tips or top 5 tips top 7 tips to improving your productivity or your relationship or whatever your niche is have a bunch of these top 10 or top 5 or even top 3 articles you don't have to write uh, whole chapters or you know keep them short but but powerful people love top whatever tips 10 tips 5 tips whatever you you want them uh, well do not do top 8 tips unless you live in China because 8 is a is a lucky the lucky number in China uh, otherwise you do top 5 top 7 top 10 top 3 uh, it's it's uh, uneven numbers odd numbers um, have other sites linking to your site as much as possible sites that have uh, high uh, rankings in the search engines 
you can check the rank rankings in alexa.com uh, put posts blog posts on other people uh, blogs the more links the more sites link to your site the higher you will get in the search engines uh, if you want to spend every day 10 to 15 minutes posting comments on other people's blogs that means all those you put in your name and you put in your web address um, from all of those blogs the links will po will, will, will uh, direct no, what is that they will point to your website so the more of those you have again the higher you get in the search engines um, be a guest uh, poster on others blogs uh, post uh, articles on on easinarticles.com easinarticles.com what is the other one uh, articlebase.com and you don't need to post on lots of article size because it used to be that the search engines ranked you higher but now when the search engine uh, sees that the same article is posted on a hundred websites it still counts it as one uh, why I'm saying it to post it to both is because uh, you actually some people read those articles on those websites I have uh, I have a client uh, leadership uh, speaker he he posted a ton of articles there and he has for each article he has hundreds of views uh, and I believe that's on article base and um, yeah because he was telling me that uh, on easy article uh, he, he had much much fewer views but, but on easy articles dot com people can actually ask you to allow them to use your article on, in their easings so that's really cool so make sure that you have a byline at the end of your articles that uh, tell a few words about you set you in a great uh, light so like for example uh, John Smith uh, is a uh, relationship development coach with uh, 15 years uh, experience <coughs> excuse me you can uh, get his free uh, seven part uh, how to uh, create outstanding relationships at and you give your uh, URL <coughs> so make sure that uh, you have an offer in there also at the in, in your byline um, yeah post uh, post your uh, URL in social media also Twitter uh, whatever wherever you are whatever you go always try to leave your URL behind your domain name let me drink some water because my throat is killing me. All right, number five. It's great to uh, have visitors, but uh, you also have to keep them there and transform them into into prospects. So make sure you set your site up prop uh, accordingly provide instant gratification to the visitor through an irresistible offer and again I'm, I'm repeating this because it's that important it's okay to have more than one opt-in box as long as they are both or, or all within your niche uh, egsebastian.com has three opt-in offers I get subscribers every day even though I have not promoted that site in any way for I don't know three years or so I still get uh, lots of traffic there and lots of opt-ins uh, YourSuccessChecklist.com I have an opt-in offer on the top right side and on one on the bottom right side which is way way down on the bottom and actually I'm, I've not finished my autoresponder <laughs> messages for that one on the bottom but I still get a bunch of uh, opt-ins and I uh, I have the messages ready I just need to upload them so I will do that sometimes uh, hopefully this week but I've been procrastinating on that for shame on me about a year but what I'm saying is so have uh, niche friendly opt-in offers and uh, and uh, so so when somebody visits your website they will leave their name and email address with you um, offer other solution focused information relevant to your to your ideal clients such as articles videos audios blog posts etc again the better the more you know who you're targeting 
the more likely it is that you will attract them and keep them on your website and have them share your I mean their contact information uh, again on the my client attraction academy dot com you will you have a video a training video on how to create a powerful offer so check it out if you need some help with that and uh, another video creating newsletters that's also a pretty good training video okay number five it's not enough to oh I'm still at transforming visitors into prospects number five okay so develop relationship with your prospects yeah well that's what I just started saying it's not enough to attract them and to grow your list that but you also need to develop a relationship with your prospects maybe they should have been number six so maybe I have 13 tips here for you uh, so I'm over delivering that's pretty cool <laughs> okay so uh, yeah, it, it, it's easy. It's you know you put up an irresistible offer, you send traffic, you you get on LinkedIn groups and uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook uh, groups. You you can go to Facebook different groups that uh, that are in your that are your niche market. You go to them, you post a little something that hey check out my newest blog post. And I mean, when I started the my client attraction academy dot com, I went to about three hundred um, Facebook fan pages and and groups, MLM uh, coaches, uh, small business owners, marketing groups, and I posted a little blurb on there about some marketing articles that I created. And at the bottom of those articles, it said, "If you want more such." marketing tips or more marketing tips go to my client attraction academy dot com or my online toolbox uh, my online toolbox dot com no that's not it my online marketing toolbox dot com and uh, so anyway that that was one of my strategies how I attracted uh, leads to to my site but attracting leads or and, and gr growing a list it's not a big deal you can do it once you know how to but developing that relationship with that list is most important because uh, equally important I would say because if you have a list of 50,000 people but you do not do anything with them it's it's worthless so uh, make sure that you have an autoresponder set up that will send out follow-up messages and uh, those messages should be again value loaded make them impossible to to leave you each each week when you send out your uh, information or twice a week whatever you decide it depends again on your target market how often do they want it if it's a parenting uh, or relationship easing or newsletter you can send it twice twice a week if you have little powerful nuggets uh, if it's uh, productivity i think that too but but twice a week i have one of my newsletters uh, one of my newsletters is twice a week all of the other ones are once a week some people suggest to send out daily messages I don't know that's too much I unsubscribe from anybody who is sending me daily messages uh, MailChimp.com is a free uh, our responder service I believe up to 2,000 subscribers I'm using OneShoppingCart.com that's pretty expensive about uh, fifty-seven dollars, I believe it's exactly fifty-seven dollars a month. Uh, but it, it has my shopping cart, also other a ton of other uh, resources in there. And hang on for a second, something is beeping in my ear. I need to check what's going on. Um, nothing is going on okay maybe somebody was calling me okay constantcontact.com again I believe you can try it for free I believe after 500 contacts you have to pay Aweber is is probably a great one because I know lots of marketers use Aweber.com um, I believe it's about 20 bucks a month I am not sure check 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 it out um, all right there are some great training tutorials on how to increase uh, your leads and uh, generate sales. It's a three-part audio 
So uh, when you get to the MP3, uh, I mean the sorry, the PDF document, you will be able to click on these links. As well, if you go to myclientretractionacademy.com, you go down, click on sitemap, and then Control F, and look for the 101 lead. Just type in or just type in 101 and hit enter, and uh, you will find it. Number six, tip number six, transform your prospects into clients, right? I mean, it's one thing to, to generate a bunch of uh, leads and prospects, but we need to transform them into clients also. We not need to make some sales. So uh, first of all, have a strong, irresistible niche and solution-focused opt-in offer. I know I'm repeating this a lot, but it's just that important. Then stay in touch with your subscribers by providing valuable content. And I just uh, mentioned that briefly earlier and at the bottom of each of your outgoing email you should provide some self-promotion no more than 20 percent and again these, these are autoresponder messages so you don't worry about it you set them up, up once and then they're there and what I do I set up maybe seven of them at once and then add weekly one or two to them so it keeps on going forever um, but each time, I mean, under each of your messages, add some self-promotion. Like, say, in my case, I can say, would you like more marketing tips, uh, more powerful marketing tips, 160-plus uh, video tutorials on lead generation and uh, and uh, other marketing strategies? And I can pick different areas of marketing to promote under each of my messages, then I say, go to myclientattractionacademy.com or go to getmoreclientsacademy.com, uh, and and I kind of play around with my domain names to see which one gets more uh, traffic, because for some people maybe if it, if they hear get more clients academy, it sounds like well it's some college, so that's why uh, I put sometimes my online marketing toolbox.com. Uh, and, and so I have, uh, and actually that's very similar to my online, uh, I mean my client, but uh, it's just, uh, it has a different domain name, and it looks a little bit differently, but it's basically the same information. So anyway, don't forget to promote yourself. Have regular teleclasses and webinars, very important. People do business with people they like, trust, and no, no trust and like. Teleclasses and webinars are number two best way to accomplish that. According to some, it's the number one way to accomplish that. Of course, uh, I, I speak a lot, and for me, I believe that's number one because they see me live, they see that I'm a real person, and uh, and uh, so uh, uh, for me, I believe that's the best way to get people to know, trust, and like me. Uh, but yes. This is a, a way to to transform your prospects into clients by regularly providing teleclasses and webinars. It it's proven that webinars are the highest converting method of uh, transforming prospects into paying clients. And make sure that your uh, your webinars teleclasses are loaded with great content, so they want more of you. And and the way you do it is you tell people the the what what they need to do but not the how to do it you can give a little bit of the how but then you sell or you promote a product or a service where you will help them implement what you just told them so you told them what to do but you didn't tell them how to do it so you sell the service or a product let's say a, a six cd set of uh, you know how to implement what we just talked about so it's extremely uh, effective or you can use videos extremely powerful very very similar uh, effect as the webinars because people can see you I mean if you if you uh, are in the video and I I suggest that you be in the video at least in in the first couple of seconds and then you can go to slides but let people see you so you they can trust you and hopefully like you and get to know you and with the videos, you get a, a triple whammy because you get to convert some of your, the people from your list into 
customers, paying customers. On YouTube, you get some more leads. And if you get lots of views, you get invited uh, to, to, to uh, uh, be a partner with YouTube and, uh, and uh, share in their uh, advertising revenue. And which reminds me that last month I, I made uh, $12 marketing revenue from YouTube. Yay! And I only have three videos up there. And on my other account I made about $8. Is that cool or is that cool? <laughs> well, it's a beginning, you know. I mean, I put up 100 more sites, I mean 100 more videos, now that I know that I can get some revenue out of there. And uh, hopefully... Each will produce about twelve bucks. Hundred times twelve—that's uh, what is that? Uh, Hundred times a thousand two hundred dollars, right? I mean, that's not bad for you know for not doing anything, just putting it up there. But the more videos you have, uh, there's a compound effect. Uh, more people will watch it, and uh, so uh, I know people who who make six-figure income from YouTube revenues. And, and some even higher than that. Uh, I don't know if you saw that program on TV, but it's really cool. And they provide uh, uh, how-to type information or training. Uh, there are some more resources in the in the members area, uh, myclientattractionacademy.com, uh, webinar strategies, and 21 time-tested list building ideas using teleclasses and webinars. So, again, uh, it will be in the P PDF as a clickable uh, link. Number seven, have your contact info on the bottom of each page. It is very annoying when uh, you, you go to a website and you want to contact that person. Maybe you want to do business with them. Maybe you have a question. And there's no contact info anywhere on the page or on any other pages. So have uh, either a contact us uh, link on the navigation bar or have a link on the bottom of your of your uh, each page uh, have an about page with your picture people do business who they know like and trust if you don't have a picture on your website it's it's hard to trust you it's like you're hiding so uh, put a picture of yourself and uh, you get extra points if you smile on that picture people like to do business with picture who smile. Don't laugh or grin, but smile. Because you have at least two personality styles who trust you more if you are not too hyper happy looking. So be something in between serious and uh, smiley. I know, that's complicated, so be yourself and smile. Uh, if you share your email, use this format info bracket at close bracket my site actually I uh, I use the bracket and then dot dot close bracket com because otherwise there are these uh, uh, robots or whatever software that collect webs uh, web addresses I mean uh, email addresses from websites and then they will send you thousands of spam emails each and every day and there are some other ways to protect you, your email address I'm not familiar with those since I'm using this strategy I uh, I have not used the other one but I know that there's some way that you can uh, hide your email address from uh, from these robots um, if you're a member of social media sites make sure that you have the the buttons on your website for example if you want to connect with your uh, prospects and clients on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter have those buttons there. And uh, if again, if you use a WordPress-based uh, website, it's very easy to add a plugin that will list all of those uh, uh, social media. And you just have to go in the back door to to put in your links. But they have some sexy, nice buttons that they can click on and connect with you. Which reminds you, I owe you a uh, plugins video, so I will create that this week sometimes and put it in the members area. All right, number eight, use video on your site. Uh, video is the number one way to get prospects to know, like, and trust you. Well, according to some, 
uh, again public speaking and webinars I believe are up there and video is uh, is up there as well so we will not make a contest out of it search engines love uh, YouTube videos and will get higher page ranking if you embed YouTube videos in your site YouTube is the baby of Google so of course Google loves YouTube so use as you know uh, I mean some some people use uh, YouTube videos every day in their blog they have a video blog I would put a few words also like for example I created recently a uh, YouTube video on uh, or a video but I put it up on YouTube also on how to pick your niche and if you go to your success checklist dot com you will either find it on the top uh, as the featured uh, post or on the left side in the left column somewhere um, but I, I did not put a blurb there and I will go back and I will write I will type in there that the four in this video I'm discussing the four main uh, uh, elements of, of picking a niche or, or, or how to pick a niche and I will put one you know uh, make sure that they can afford you two make sure that you can get in front of traffic three uh, make sure that you would enjoy it and uh, four I forgot what's number four but I will put all of those there uh, I will type it in which will take me less than one minute to, to do it but uh, it's great to have a little little blurb under your video or above the video because the search engine again will see those keywords and uh, you get higher ranking it's all about ranking it's all about visibility because you can have the again the most beautiful website if you get no traffic then uh, then you get no customers through your website uh, at least I mean you can get customers through your networking efforts and uh, and other efforts that don't involve uh, search engines number nine upsell and downsell strategies for example if you offer a free ebook people get excited that they get now seven strategies on how to become more productive and they put in their email address and their name and on the next page they, they get uh, to download the ebook or on the next page it says please confirm your uh, request of the ebook go to your email address and in their email address or on the next page I mean whatever strategy you choose it will say thank you for requesting our ebook here's the download link right click on it to save it uh, to your hard drive and then under it you say if you want to take your um, productivity further I mean you, you word it nicely then uh, check out our membership site or with, with, with you know dozens of or hundreds uh, of pr productivity tips um, and you can put there exactly what is in the membership site and give them two weeks or one week free access and they sign up and if they remain members and they pay you 47 bucks a month or uh, upsell them a, a $17 ebook or your book or a, a home study course or a video course whatever it is and if on the bottom you put a link that says no thanks just take me to my download oh actually so yeah you wouldn't put the download there you would say thank you for requesting but before you access your download uh, check out this special offer and then if they say no thanks then on the next page you can give them another offer maybe more uh, less expensive because they said no to that offer and on the bottom again it says no thanks just let me have my download and then this time really give them the download I know some people who will have like five pages of upsells and downsells uh, I don't think that's cool uh, I, I wouldn't go further than two with more than two and if somebody buys that uh, seventeen dollar you know ebook or, or e-course or whatever you sell on the next page you can again offer them coaching or you can offer them uh, your your home study course that's eight hundred dollars uh, I, I wouldn't jump from seventeen to eight hundred that's a big jump but if you have a beautiful sales letter with lots of testimonials and video testimonials you could jump to that so you know uh, it's up to you I mean the worst thing that can happen is they click uh, no thanks just let me have my download 
but you can go again to the myclientattractionacademy.com and check out these uh, little training. I believe these are articles, but uh, still they, they are cool. Just check them out. Number 10. Ask for second and third opinions. Yeah, don't don't believe everything that I'm saying you. Uh, I'm telling you here. And also, don't rely on your own perception of what's what you see as beautiful or professional. So get some feedback from friends, enemies, uh, neighbors, whoever will give you uh, feedback on your website. Use social media. Uh, LinkedIn has lots of great groups, and probably you are already members. Share your link there and, and, and ask for feedback. And not only that you will get feedback, but you might get some business out of those uh, just just by asking for feedback. And make sure, again, you have an irresistible offer. So if you post your um, request for feedback on your website to a couple of groups, then uh, you will get feedback, which will help you. And you will probably get a bunch of sign-ups also, and hopefully some clients also. So, uh, you know... Uh, Use this strategy. Ask for feedback. Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and uh, all of these places. And uh, you will see that you will generate a, literally at least 100 leads, 100 prospects, just by for asking for feedback. So it's a double whammy. Number 11, a few things to avoid. Avoid music playing in the background of your website. It's annoying. I don't care what kind of music you put. It's your favorite somebody else hates it they will go away from your website some people will press mute great but most people will you know, navigate away so don't 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 do that it's amateurish it's uh, no it's it's not in good taste uh, don't have video or audio that starts automatically I mean that's my suggestion uh, you can do it but each time they come back to your home page it's annoying that it starts again you know if it's a one pager if it's a sales page then okay you can have that uh, even then I, I uh, allow people to just click on it people love video and if I say uh, check out the video below to to uh, learn about seven secrets to generating more leads they will watch the video okay because that's my target market I, I help people generate leads and uh, get more clients and and set up websites and set up their business in a way that they attract more leads and, and generate more clients. So whatever I put there, you know, uh, it is benefit-driven and they will watch the video. So I do not like to have the, the video or the audio start automatically. Again, on, on a one-pager, it's more acceptable, but on a website, never because it's really annoying each time you go back to the home page it keeps starting again don't overwhelm the visitor with too much information I know Yahoo has a bunch of info on their website but look at Google nothing it's just a search box so uh, you are not Yahoo uh, people will go away so uh, keep it keep it simple and uh, it, it depends what's what's the purpose of your website like if you go to yoursuccesschecklist.com, it's it's probably you would say that it's a little bit a busy website, lots of information on the on the homepage. But my my purpose with that site is educating uh, my visitors and lead generation. And it accomplishes that goal. Each of my articles are are li little headlines, powerful headlines how to generate clients to LinkedIn or, or leads through, through LinkedIn, uh, how to pick a profitable niche, um, how to generate more leads. I mean, each each topic is, is uh, powerful in my uh, view. So my, my ideal client will stick around on that page. And uh, so, yes, it depends what you, you want to accomplish with your website. But, yeah, don't overwhelm your visitors don't have too many gra graphics on your page uh, I know some people use half of the home page with a giant graphic that's a waste of uh, of real estate space 
have some small graphics or a small banner and have your headline and subheadline there to to attract people to 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 make them stay a, a, a super beautiful picture will not make people stay not most people um don't have a home page that runs six miles down you know have uh, your home page uh, you you won't believe it but some people are lazy to scroll however if if it is a sales letter uh, or a landing page and you put there some great content great sub headlines people will keep on reading and you put in some great testimonials people will keep on reading um, don't have links that lead nowhere I know that on my uh, yoursuccesschecklist.com I used to have a calendar for about a year that I forgot about and it was leading nowhere so uh, stay away from that and stay away from hype you lose trust with too much hype or, or with any hype and number 12 have additional income uh, generation opportunities on your website ebooks e-courses audio courses video courses membership site home study course affiliate offers teleclass series and group coaching because uh, and, and I know group coaching uh, does take up your time but you as a coach or as a speaker you can only provide so many hours of service a day or a week or a month or a year and I for example I, I took three vacations this summer and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of myself for this because for the first few years I didn't take any vacations and finally last year I took my kids to Disney World and, and two years ago also um, but for the first uh, about uh, five years probably I did not take a vacation because I was a coach and I was a speaker and, and well I did have uh, <laughs> income coming in from my products also but somehow I forgot about <laughs> vacations um, but you are limited and, and I'm a parent so I did spend lots of time with my parents I mean with my kids uh, but I just forgot to take vacations until I remembered that the nicest memories of my childhood is the vacations that I took with my parents so I decided that I would take my kids every year uh, uh, but because I have all the additional income resources or income sources that my websites generate I can afford to uh, make breakfast for my kids I can take them to school when I'm at home uh, when I'm not on the road speaking uh, I can uh, I can go with them to the beach on in, in the weekends and uh, I work out with my kids two three times a week so uh, you know it, it's it's important not to rely 100% on your you know just coaching or your speaking and the great thing about ebooks e-courses uh, audio courses video courses is that you can you have zero cost you know it, it's all online and use kunaki.com kunaki.com uh, if you want to create a physical product because you can set up your cover there your cover design and uh, they will create everything for you at a very low cost and they will ship stuff for you so people can order stuff from you your your CDs or DVDs and kunaki will uh, ship them let me what else I have here repurpose content repurpose content if you create a webinar like I created this webinar I will repurpose it into small articles uh, blog posts um, I, I could even make it into a product so repurpose whatever you do repurpose it in different uh, to, to, to different things so you get more visibility you want to get to a point when somebody types in your name in the search engines they get pages and pages of of results with your name uh, teleclasses that are coming up your articles blog posts videos on YouTube uh, all kind of great stuff live events that you held so you want them to see that you are hot and they need to do business with you or you are trustworthy because you are everywhere and uh, doing lots of great stuff um, now I generate additional income with with uh, I add value to my coaching I also add value to my speaking most in most of my speaking engagements everybody 
gets a disk PPSS assessment. It's a it's a uh, personality style assessment. Also, when I do marketing or sales presentations, they take a uh, disk sales assessment. So uh, that's that's all additional income for me. Uh, I have time management assessment, stress management, uh, three three sixty. Uh, assessment which many corporations they they love so uh, if you want to resell any of these let me know and we can talk about it and by the way I have not coached anybody without getting a disk 2.0 or a disk PPSS or a disk sales assessment depending why I was coaching the person because it helps me uh, find out about the person's communication style their fears their strengths their weaknesses and uh, that just helps me in my coaching a lot. Also, some people coach based on the assessment. You can coach for for months or a year or more because the the assessments give you uh, coaching questions. Actually, some of these assessments, and you can see samples of these assessments if you go to egsebastian.com, egsebastian.com, and you hover over. Um, assessments you put your mouse over assessments and then you will see sample assessments so click on sample assessments you can see any of these um, assessments you can uh, yeah I mean I have a bunch of stuff that, that generates additional income for me I will not go through all of this here but uh, if you want to to uh, use any of this you can use them at no cost so you can call me at 877-379-3793 or send me an email to support at egsebastian.com if you want to find out how to um, use these products with your uh, customers, with your coaching clients or, or any clients. And uh, if you got any questions, <coughs> excuse me, if you got any questions, then uh, make sure that you... Uh, this one does not work anymore. Your success checklist.com slash forum died. So don't don't go there. But um, you can uh, <coughs> excuse me. You can go to uh, you can just send me an email. Send me an email to support at egsebastian.com and uh, of course you are a member in the get clients academy.com slash members uh, in the 90 days program you can post your questions right there under this module um, and all questions will be answered so again do not go to your com slash forum that was a beautiful forum and I had a bunch of great questions there and great topics but unfortunately uh, the developer just stopped uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, their website is dead and the forum is dead and I just can't get it to work anymore. And uh, again, you know, I mentioned a bunch of resources throughout the the uh, w training, so make sure that you check out those resources and, and plan them again. Don't try to do everything today. There's more to life than today. Plan things and implement them one by one. I would like to hear a commitment from you. I would like you to type in, in under today's module what one, two, or three, three things, up to three things that you commit to implement this week. This week. So out of these things that I spoke to spoke about here uh, in this training, what will you commit to implement this week? And you don't have to do all 12 items, but uh, whatever you think you can do, post it in the comments under the video. And if you have, again, any questions about any of the things that I talked about, any of the topics that I talked about, then uh, put your question under the module and it will be answered in detail. And if I have to create a tutorial video, I will. For example, how to set up a WordPress uh, site, I, I will create a tutorial video on that and also on the plugins, which plugins I recommend that to make your website or WordPress-based site more powerful. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed today's training, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, keep on marketing, and let's get some clients, and let's make some money. Till next time, E.G. Sebastian, signing off.